Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have another interesting, yeah, whiskey in our cast. This time it's not from Kentucky. And as you can imagine, you see the big star at the front. It's what, what they call it. I think the Lone Star State. So it's Texas. Yeah, Texas and the star. It's just that is Texas. But uh, this is the Garrison Brothers Small Batch uh, 2022. They are actually right at the big uh, top. Yeah, it's a three-year-old bourbon. And yes, it's uh, aged three years in oak. So here on the side, it says three years. Um, it's a premium one. It's definitely the Garrison Brothers uh, whiskey is a premium one and it's actually not really meant for the German market as we have a little import label on the back. So without that label, it's not allowed to go around in the EU. But yeah, we have an importer who does the labeling on that. And then we are allowed to have that here in Europe or in Germany as well. So what do the Garrison, Garrison Brothers do? So here at the front, we have one, one of the where is it? There he is. Here's one of the Garen, Garrison brothers. And they, uh, they're really um, proud of their yeah, locality, their regionality. So they say from cork to corn, uh, well, from corn to cork <laughs> that way. And what they mean with that is they have all their stuff um, yeah, made from a local ingredients. And it's a Texas straight bourbon whiskey. Straight means one distillery, and also that it has to be at least two years. They do three years, which is really hard if you imagine. Yeah, Texas is, uh, it can be cold in Texas, but usually you associate Texas with desert heat, and it's just of the, <laughs> under Nevada, it's like the hottest state there is. And yeah. So they really have like 38 degrees Celsius, which is, I don't know, 110 or something. I don't know, <laughs> Fahrenheit, I don't know, Fahrenheit. So it's really hot. And this means that the evaporation within the cask is very high. They have a lot of angels shed. They lose a lot of their spirit and the, mature, uh, the spirit matures really, really fast. So they have to have a lot of stuff you have to take care of. And they really do that. So they have, um, the uh, I think it's number one corn and they do have local barley and they have yeah tons of stuff uh, that is really local with that and they do it in small batches and if you look at the side you see oh here corn variety food grade number one white hmm, whatever that means <laughs> but i think it's a number one sounds like the best one food grade uh yeah usually you could take like lesser grades because you're just fermenting it about the food grade is probably one of the highest from farms in south texas bottle number 91644 release date um 2022 yeah this is the 2022 edition and yes for, for oh, oh, finest gourmet great ingredients now oh, they even need harder and oh what i do like is here they even oh, very my lighting is really bad but there's a, a huge uh, star in uh molded at the top into the wax i love that it's just yeah we are from bavaria which is kind of like the lone star state of germany <laughs> we have a very funny accent as well and instead of the hats we have the lederhosen yeah, but I do like Texas, although I've never been to Texas. That is really unfortunate. I really have to go to Texas at some point. Yeah, um, what do I, uh, I was missing out with the, with the maturing. So what they did is they actually um, got themselves custom made cars. And with these custom made cars, they said, we need thicker staves. So you have thicker staves and that gives you apparently more resistance to this evaporation or is better for hotter climates which i think yeah if you have like southern wine southern sherries of like spain or italy then they do have thicker staves as well 
because they know they have hot climate. They do it in cellars as well. I don't know where the Garrison brothers mature their whiskey, but uh, yeah, thicker staves are better in hot climate. So that's what they did. Which they probably then, yeah, it's a bit more expensive. This is an expensive whiskey um because yeah if you don't buy the american standard barrels that's like off the shelves they get produced en masse these have to be produced probably in smaller quantities for their batches of the garrison brothers yeah i've talked enough, <laughs> enough about it let's have a look what is inside this spirit Ooh, oh this is a this is a bourbon <laughs> definitely a bourbon oh. but it's a it's a really Strangely enough, fruity one, but sweet one. Sweet, sweet vanilla. No, not that much vanilla. It's strangely enough, it has an oaky kind of sweetness to it. So it's it's really oaky with a sweetness. Let's find out what that sweetness is. Mm. For me, it's a bit of a. Mm. Ah, this is strange. I do feel the the apples touch to it, and the and then the oak touch to it feels like a a crate of apples or. Ah, and, an orchard. Oh, I can really can't get behind that sweetness. It's 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 strangely enough. It's not that vanilla caramel standard uh, sweetness that you get from all the from all the normal bourbons, but the oak is very very strong. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, the Texas climate is really something. Mm. It has a strong oak in it. Mm, I love it. Oh, mm. It has a good amount of sweetness. A kind of a, a crunchy taste feeling. When you have it in your mouth, you feel like, oh, it's maybe a liqueur. It's almost creamy. So, and sweetness and oak going on. Mm. But when you when you swallow it, it gets a bit dry, a bit crunchy, a bit. But the oak stays. That's a a strong amount of oak. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> wow, this is something different. Oh, I always say that about all the whiskeys, but this is really something different. Mm. When I when I had it on my lips, it was just like mm, sugary. I don't know, a fizzy drink without fizzy. And when you have it in your mouth, it's just so much oak and, and I would say a bit of a, that, that honey sweetness going on. Now that I said it, I can smell it everywhere. But um, imagine one of these um, forest honeys that are, are really dark and I don't know, like they're not as floral and forward as, um, as like a, a really creamy that you know of the squeezy bottles but one of the really dark liquid types of of honey oh, with a, tons of oak <laughs> three years really <laughs> really three years how much oak you put in there oh, i must be the thing is you don't just have the high temperatures in texas but you have probably also a lot of temperature differences and that is why the the oak where the oak works when you have high temperatures it expands takes out uh the the juices the the spirit and then it compresses when it gets cold it compresses again and uh, gives off the yeah matured spirits into the the whiskey yeah, inside the inside of the barrel. So the the more you have temperature differences, the more the oak works, and the more you get the oaky flavors inside the cask. I like it how the the oak is. Um, it's a lot there, but it doesn't have that bitterness. So my tend to guess is they don't only just have thicker staves, but they mature their staves as well. So what you do in America is you don't want these tannins these bitter flavors inside your bourbon at all that's just what americans don't like and so you mature you stay for at least five months six months four months and i would guess that they have done it longer probably for nine months or something like that there are whiskies out there who really don't want any bitterness in them this feels like one of these whiskies mm. <laughs> mm. 
47% ABV. Hmm. I would have guessed lower. So it was a bit, bit of a dangerous one as well because it's very browned. Um, strangely enough, for such a young whiskey, it doesn't have these edges. So probably with that distillation, they're also doing a bit of a smaller cut. So you get the the less desirable bits. When you distill, you take the four shots and the faints off and they are the less desirable bits that don't taste as good. So they probably take a smaller cut as well don't know that it's just speculation from me and so very well made whiskey and now comes a bit kicker the, the big kicker for us in, <laughs> in Germany it's 130 euros which is tons this is probably because this is uh yeah imported in small amounts so I guess in America this bottle will be uh, a lot less um probably in taxes will be the the cheapest as they don't have these big transporting costs so yes it's a really nicely made um a bottle and probably a good reason why i should go to texas because i should visit, visit what was his name ian garrison no dan dan garrison so yeah probably should go to texas yeah that was it I could talk, could keep on going talking forever, but yeah, I have to stop this video at some point. So this was my take on the Garrison Brothers Small Batch 2023. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.